guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if i look a little tired i am so i just figured i'd share a few reasons why interlocking actually prevents thinning contrary to what most people believe about interlocking reason number one when you interlock it actually gathers the hair like into the lock so for example my hair is Clearly not interlock now, but whenever I interlock, you see all of the like frizzy hairs that like kind of come away from the lock naturally. Like all of, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but yeah. So basically when you're just retwisting, retwisting doesn't bind the hair together as quickly or I guess instantly as interlocking does. So interlocking basically instantly gathers those loose hairs into the lock so what i usually do is and i have a video on me interlocking my locks if you guys want to see it i'll put it right here and also down in the description but basically um i just take those loose hairs so just take all of those loose hairs and just wrap it around first wrap it around and then once it's like basically a retwist because that's pretty much what that is instead of just leaving it i do a pass through or rotation rather doing that again instantly pulls the lock into or pulls the loose hairs into the lock so that the lock doesn't it won't unravel like it won't unravel those loose hairs won't come undone if they do like eventually they do kind of You'll get some flyaways, but it's not nearly as much as when you just retwist. And it's not to say there's anything wrong with retwisting, but this leads to reason number two. When you retwist, or when you only retwist, it allows the hair to be free. So the hair basically is just free. It's not pulled through the lock in any kind of way. It's literally just wrapped around. And yes, in time, the hair will lock, of course, on its own. Um, honestly, without any any of this, like your hair will lock without retwisting, without interlocking, it it will lock. So not saying that you need to retwist or interlock or any of the things um, for your hair to lock. It's going to lock regardless if you just wash it and you're obviously not detangling it, you're not combing it out or anything like that. This is obviously going for those of us who have like i guess manicured locks so we're just retwisting your hair is free it's just wrapped around the lock but it's not bound into it as interlocking would do you know and so with that if you go a long period of time say you go months and months without retwisting you could possibly get way more thinning doing that and just allowing all of the hairs to just go free with zero direction not trying to incorporate any of the hairs into the lock again not talking about free form because that's obviously how free form locks work um but again just talking about manicured locks in in this video so anyway that can actually cause more thinning than anything if you're if you start off retwisting but then you kind of just let it let it go those individual locks those um locks that were that were manicured that you started and, and you maintain by retwisting allowing all of those free hairs to just go wherever and not kind of give it any kind of guidance into the lock can actually thin it out because every hair is super important obviously to the lock a lock is a series i guess you could say of bound hair so if you're allowing those hairs that again are pivotal to the you know integrity of the lock to just go free and go wherever and not consistently keep them in the lock you could potentially run into problems with thinning down the line now you may think oh well i'll just retwist on a more consistent basis or more frequently the issue with that is you're constantly having to put stress on the root by twisting 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 so again if you're thinking oh well i'll just retwist more often retwisting you kind of have to do it more often why because it doesn't stay put which is why personally not trying to persuade anybody to do what i do you guys make your own decisions <laughs> um but 
Personally, I prefer interlocking because of that, because I don't have to or I don't want to, for one, be bothered with having to retwist just to keep or retwist so frequently just to keep all of the root, the loose hairs at my root into the lock. I have 57 locks, so doing that, first of all, with thicker locks, retwisting, retwists in general, don't hold. Like, they just don't hold. That being said, I would have to retwist so frequently in order to keep those loose hairs within or wrapped around the lock. Like, I would just have to do it way too frequently and your girl's not up for that. <laughs> Again, hence why I interlock. So in no way am I saying, oh, interlocking is just the answer to it all. No, you do what you feel one, you want to do and what you feel is best for yourself, your lifestyle, all that jazz. But interlocking in itself keeps those loose hairs within that lock far longer with far less work as opposed to retwisting where you have to frequently do it because retwisting or just the nature of a retwist, it allows the hair to just go free very easily, like super easily. If you go swimming, if you wash your hair, that's it, your retwist is done. But with interlocking, not the case. You can wash your hair, um, you can jump in a pool, whatever it is, it's not gonna go away. It's not gonna get undone like a retwist will and then you're, you're back to square one with a poof or a little mini afro at your, at your roots full of just loose hairs that you know were incorporated into the lock but no longer are. And then again, you'd have to retwist. Interlocking eliminates all of that with very minimal effort. Now, you can do it way too tight. I'm an example. <laughs> There's been times where I've done it way too tight, like I've gotten, like I've given myself a headache from interlocking too tight and yeah, it wasn't fun. But if one, done correctly, and two, done not so frequently, frequently enough, but not too close together is what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, space it out a little bit. If done the right way, meaning you're giving your scalp some time, like a break between interlockings to like breathe basically, and also doing it the right way, just simply doing it the right way, meaning not going through the same direction twice, creating holes, that sort of thing. I feel like you'll be golden. It'll afford you not having to worry about hairs, loose hairs going or growing away from the locks. And also you have to know like your own hair. My hair, for example, grows away from the lock big time. And so interlocking keeps everything like, I guess, I don't want to say trained, but like I guess trained to go into that lock. I mean, it's still kind of, I'll, I'll still get flyaways, don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as bad as when I used to years, years ago. Like my very first set of locks, I retwisted because I didn't really know about interlocking back then. But I soon or I quickly realized that interlocking was it for me. As soon as I discovered interlocking, that was it. Like I was so, I was done with retwisting and I never looked back really. So basically if you feel that interlocking will be or is a better option for you in terms of you're the kind of person that you don't want, you know, want to be bothered with retwisting. Your hair also grows away from the lock like mine does. Um, and you just want a solution to keeping those hairs bound into the lock you would just rather have a far more low low maintenance approach to your locks um but you obviously still would like to maintain them or i guess manicure them because obviously the complete opposite would be to just freeform completely but not everyone wants to do that so yeah i mean if you're again anything like myself or you don't want to constantly have to stay on top of keeping those loose hairs within the lock by retwisting you might want to consider interlocking and no, they don't thin out your locks. If anything, let me be an example of the fact that they have thickened up my locks. Why? Because those loose hairs, as I mentioned before, they stay incorporated into 
the lock. Like, they don't go anywhere. I eventually will get frizzies, but that's just my hair growing out. And, like, right now, for example, it's time for me to wash. And, of course, when I do wash, it, you know, the frizz comes back. That's, like, inevitable. But, yeah, basically, my locks haven't had any issues with staying thick. They still are frizzy at my roots somewhat, but it's not anything like as if I were retwisting. Like, you know, there's still some frizz happening, but that's, again, that's inevitable. It's going to happen with locks regardless of whether you retwist or interlock. It's just that interlocking keeps the lock pretty much solid from very close to the root to all throughout so as you guys can see for example or maybe I can use this one um, there's very little looseness like I'm feeling it it might look like to you guys that there's a lot of like loose hairs and for this one there kind of is which honestly at the front I get the most loose hairs so um, there's that but if I go back to showing you guys maybe one up top, this one also has some frizzies, but that, again, that's because the top of my hair, the texture is just looser. So they tend to, you know, I tend to get a lot of these way more up in the top. So it's not to say those go away with interlocking. They, you'll still get them, but generally it pretty much stays within again, as you guys can see. So all that to say, interlocking much more easily and more securely keeps those loose hairs within the lock, allowing it to stay a solid lock and not start to thin out due to hairs at the root constantly separating from it. Let me be just one example, emphasis on just one example, because obviously not everyone's hair is as thick as mine or and not to say I have the thickest hair but you know it's fairly thick so it's not to say anyone who has as few locks as I do should just automatically interlock and you'll be good um again I'm just one example of how interlocking does not thin out your hair also think of sister locks and micro locks and things like that those are tiny tiny locks that stay solid stay together are able and capable of growing really long just such thin locks and those are maintained primarily through interlocking so considering that also should make you think hmm interlocking probably isn't the sole cause of thinning or interlocking in itself probably doesn't cause thinning it doesn't so again though I have thick locks that I interlock as my root maintenance that's not why my locks are not thinning out again different factors I let my scalp breathe for at least a month and a half two months before I interlock again as I wash it obviously my roots loosen out which allows it to again breathe some more and I don't well now <laughs> I stopped interlocking too tight so I don't interlock too tight anymore. Like if I, if I can't do another rotation, that's it. I'm done. I don't force it. So yeah, that all being said, I'm going to show you guys, or I'm going to do like a quick 360 of what my locks look like. I'll show you guys in my roots so you guys could see, you know, what all is going on <laughs> with my thick interlocked locks, since it's not a very common thing. Or at least that I see here on YouTube or really anywhere. But yeah, so this is what the front looks like. Again, haven't interlocked in some weeks now, which is good. As I said, you want your hair to breathe, you want your scalp to breathe.
I am all in the frame because as I turn my head, I don't see a damn thing. <laughs> Oh, and also keep note of the fact that you don't see any interlocking pattern. I know a lot of people are concerned about interlocking because they don't want that pattern. Um, that goes away, clearly. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, but her locks are thicker, so there's more hair incorporated into it, causing the interlocking pattern to go away. No, not necessarily. Thinner locks, like again, micro locks and sister locks, eventually that interlocking pattern goes away. So if that's your concern, don't let it be. So I hope this video helped. I hope this helped you guys gain some kind of insight on interlocking. I hope it kind of debunked some of the ideas that interlocking thins out locks when in reality it could potentially prevent thinning. Um, yeah. So if you guys like this video, you already know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.